It is a cute one. <laughs> okay. It is, it's mini, so it's so cute. It's so cute. It's little. Little. Welcome to Highway 30. I'm Amy. And I'm Sarah, and we're here to help you get creative. Today we have a mini craft kit for you yes, to start so off November, and it's a cute one for fall. We're crafting with box 1103. We are. You two could be crafting with box 1103. Yes, you could. This We're mini good. kit, we have these little blocks. You can get them at the Dollar Tree. Tumbling tower. Tumbling tower blocks. blocks. So yes. we're gonna use these to make little tiny pumpkins. Yes. I think this would be a fun one to craft with your kids. Absolutely. Could totally do that. Yeah. It's fast, it's easy, but it's they're super they're cute. I know What's we another word. These just have to be cute. They're impressive. Impressive. When they're done, yeah, they're so thoughtfully, impressively, quickly, uh, quickly and impressively cute. They're cute. I have some synonyms for you: adorable, oh, beautiful, that? charming, delightful, charming, pleasant, pretty, pleasant. dainty. Hold up, I can find more. Um, endearing, adorable, lovable, sweet, lovely, appearing, they're sweet, and. Engaging, delightful, dear, darling, winning, darling. winsome, charming, enchanting. Winsome. They're winsome. <laughs> so thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> we have a very winsome craft for you today. They're darling. They are darling. They're dear. First step, you want to just take one of your blocks and really you only have to paint the top half of it because that's the only part that's going to show. Here's yep. so. Go green. If you want, you could do two coats, but I think it also kind of looks neat with one coat and you can see mm -hmm. the wood grain through it a little bit. And that's all you need the green for. Cute. Next. Okay. We will hot glue. We're gonna hot glue these little blocks together and we'll show you just exactly the order to do them in. So first take two of your blocks and try not to use big globs of hot glue. I'm just gonna run a really fine bead. Bead of glue is too big, then there'll be a big space in between. It's okay if there's a little space. All right, so after you've got your two blocks together, then you're gonna take your green guy, put him in the middle of the two blocks, but you wanna offset it probably by about a quarter of an inch at the top. About that much? Yeah. Oops. And make sure you don't get the hot glue at the very top, like I just did. Amy. I know. That was a mistake. And if your little stems are different heights on your pumpkins, that can be cute too. Yeah. Because the pumpkins you buy at the store, you know, the real ones. It's nature. All their stems are different. And this just came off. Darn it. Try again. <laughs> so our next two blocks are going to be even with the first two, but we're gonna put them next to the green block. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
All right, we've got half a pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Now you just need to take the other two blocks and glue those together. And the very last step, we're gonna put this on the back. Yes. The back of the pumpkin. And just like the front. Yay! Okay, now we're gonna make these little guys orange. Yes, let's do it. We're gonna turn them into pumpkins. I just get a tiny bit on your brush and work on the, work around yeah. the green. And kind of wiggle. Oh, and I got orange on the green. Yeah, a, a little bit too, but we are also gonna um, Distress them. Distress them or antique them a little bit with the brown, so I think it's not going to show. If you want to go to the trouble of painting the little blocks before you put them together, okay. that, yeah. you can totally do that too. Especially if you want it solid, a solid orange color. All right, now we have orange pumpkins, and we're including this antique wax in yep. case you want to distress it a little bit. They're cute like this. They're cute like this, but I think that's gonna add a little some, something, something. Yeah, I think so. And it's only gonna take just a little bit on your brush. Right, for the very last step, we're gonna take our cute little plastic leaf and just glue yeah. it to the top That's it. with a little hot glue. I think I'll glue it to the actual stem. Are you gonna do them all the same way? Maybe two one way and one the other? Yeah. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go right. I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> These were cute. See them laying down. We told you that was gonna be quick and I think it really was. It was super fast. There was another time that we said it was our fastest craft. No, no, I, I think this is maybe it. Maybe this was it. Sure. We could make a party box. <gasps> These would be a cute fall party box. Yes. So that's an option. Yeah, yeah. that would be great. Like a teen craft night or, you know, yeah, mom's night out. We've got several steps, but they're each really fast and not very messy. So all you need is your glue gun and a kit and you can make these little pumpkins too. Yeah. These darling winsome pumpkins. They are winsome. Thanks for crafting with us today. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe and join us again next week for something else super exciting. That's exactly right. Always. Is that gonna be bad? Because <laughs> no, you don't edit it. You could get 40 of these if you want and make them. It, that was dumb. Don't say that. <laughs> you could, no, you could get 40 of them. You we could. would love for you to get 40 of them. <laughs>